What's up guys, Venny here, bringing you the 4 triple 2 formation guy. You've seen the 4-4-2, you've seen the 4-2-3-1, which I have done in the last couple of weeks. You haven't seen any new like top 100 or uh, 30 no custom tactics because basically I haven't, you know, achieved top 100 for a while. I need to uh, rethink how things are going with this weekend. I've lost my head to be honest with you. Um, as you see, I think I achieved 27 wins this weekend on the Xbox and really bad on the PlayStation. My head was gone after qualifiers. We just sort of had one of them weekends, which is fine. But it's the way you bounce back from these sort of lows. So hopefully we can achieve top 100 for you guys who so see the new custom tactics, what I have in place and whatnot. But today we are going to be talking about the 4 triple 2. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscription button if you're new around here and the bell if you want notifications when a video goes live. But let's get into the 4 triple 2 formation guide. And as I said, you have seen the 4231, you've seen the 442, and we are on a new patch now. So my opinion might differ in a couple of weeks. So I will be doing post patch uh opinions on the 442 and the 4231 for you guys so you have a better understanding from a new patch perspective uh what's the best tactic to use and i'm gonna give it to you straight up i'm seeing a thing a few things with drop back and i think it's they've tried to eliminate it and i think they're pretty close to actually eliminating drop back uh there is a lot more space in between the lines you know in between like different attacking positions from the wing and whatnot and from your cdm to your strikers there's different little spaces you can get but before it was super compact but i haven't played anyone super super sweaty yet without like that one depth drop back everyone come back i haven't played that yet so i can't really give you my full opinion on the patch yet but that will be coming out well i'll probably be able to give you a more of an opinion um after weekend league and hopefully i've got some highlights for you as i haven't done any foot champs highlights this year so hopefully i have that in place for you guys Obviously, let's get into this. So the defensive styles you can use with 4 triple 2 is always the same. You've got the drop back, balance, pressure on the heavy touch, press after possession loss and constant pressure. And what I like about 4 triple 2 it's super attacking and it's super easy to press with because you've, as I mentioned with the 4 4 2 these Ram and Lambs are easy to press on their right back and left back and also come back onto their like Ram, Lamb, right mid, left mid, whatever it may be. So you can press super effective with this formation, obviously with the two strikers as well, covering the CDM slash to the centre back position and your two CDMs covering their strikers. It's a very effective formation if you want to press and be a little bit more, uh, I suppose, risk taking when you're going to the defence. So you can easily use press on heavy touch or press after possession loss. Balance is obviously the, the base one you can obviously do you can do a little bit of everything on balance you can you can press you can like defend deep whatever it may be a lot of people obviously use about three four five depth on balance just because you know they're still trying to hold that like secure like defense but also be a little bit more creative than if you're on drop back with drop back obviously everyone gets behind the ball and you can't really press with it as effective maybe as balance or these press um tactics i'm gonna say don't use drop back anymore I'm hoping that they have fully eliminated, but I will give my full opinion, as I mentioned, next week regarding if drop back is still super effective. So, balance, as I said, is probably the best, you know, style if you're going to try and go for, like, this is your starting formation. You're not trying to take any risk. You just sort of want to have an all-round team. You know, you want it to be structured all the way through. You don't want to take risks in the press and heavy touch or press after possession loss. But, as I mentioned these are super effective in the four triple two if you put like a really high depth with like a seven or eight when you're like your few goals down is the way to go i know tex last year used to use four triple two when he was a couple goals down i think he used to use i think like constant pressure and uh fast builder because it four triple two is obviously as i mentioned it's super easy to press with and it's also very effective in attack it's sort of like a four four two but a little bit more narrower which i will go into detail with with I think you can do another five, six width. I think just keep it at five. For me, I've tried a bit of four. And I think if you play people who are super like wing based, like especially against pros and more competitive players, I think they use their wings a lot more uh, than maybe just the casuals. A lot of casuals like to play through the middle, you know, then ping pong passes. With like pros and more competitive players, I think they used to use their width a lot more. So a five, six. So you have these players, your right back and left back quite wide naturally it's easier to like get out to them if they play the ball down the line you know like the rbys or the rb tri uh, r1 triangles even on playstation whatever it may be you can easily get your right back and left back to them or your ram and lamb and whatnot so i recommend probably about a five width maybe six if you want you can even try four if you want a tighter team but as i mentioned i think with the new style they brought in regarding drop back 
the compactness of a team isn't there anymore. So I'm not sure really what four Wick would give you right now. Depth, obviously, as I mentioned, depending on your play style and sort of the, the scoreline. If you are obviously losing by a couple of like 20 minutes ago, obviously these press sort of tactics, as I mentioned, are really effective with that high depth. And if you're trying to get a couple get, uh, goals back, I recommend using putting your width up slightly as well to six or seven because a lot of people when they've got the lead and they're holding the ball they play a lot more wider so they're switching the ball to the right back and left back and if you have like higher width your players will naturally be on their right back and left back a lot easier if you had a tighter one as i was going on about depth though i think if you're going off the base of the start and you sort of want to have quite a structured team i would say about a three or a four i know kurt uses three I think Dunn and Mike also uses three. So there's a few pros what use balance and obviously three depth. I know Lyrics uses four depth. So I think about three, four, if you want to be secure and still be very stable in defense, but also able to press because obviously you're on balance. It's also a very effective sort of style. But if you want to just have it all like natural, five depth is fine for you as well. Offensive style balance. As I mentioned, with 4 triple two, it's super effective in attack. It sort of plays like a 4-4-2, four, four, but very tight. And I'll go into detail with that right now. With 4-4-2, four, four, your, your Ram and your Lamb, but they're right mid and left mids, are naturally wider. So your strikers have a lot more space when it, the ball goes into them. When you play 4 triple two, the team's a lot more compact in and tighter because it's ram and lamb and they just naturally sit in a little bit like tighter so you, your strikers don't actually have that much space and i think that's why a lot of people prefer the 442 because you have a lot more space when you you're on the ball and whatnot as soon as you touch that ball you're not getting like hammered you know from a bad touch or whatever maybe you have more space to stretch your opponent and whatnot so that's why i think people prefer the 442 but if you like to play like a a narrow style or like a quick pace style i think four triple two could be perfect for you especially if you're trying to get width and whatnot but Obviously, with the new uh, tactics and the drop back and that going, I'm not really too sure how effective different formations are right now. I've got to go back into the draft grind, which I'm currently doing anyway, and seeing what works and what doesn't work. And hopefully, I'll give you a better understanding after I've played a week in league. I usually play two week in league, so that's 60 games. So I should have a very good understanding what working and what's not. But obviously, you can use a few other styles. I think possession is also another thing to use. I think. I think because where the strikers and cams naturally start, I think possession could be more effective for a lot of people. Unless you're like a super fast attacker, like if you see Kurt, how he plays, his style is very direct. It's about three, four passes before he's into the opponent's half compared to a lot of people where they like to like maybe do like a one, two with their wing backs and then go to their CDM striker and then back out to the lamb. Whatever it may be, I think possession might be a little bit more suited to that style because obviously players are coming close to the ball rather than like running away from it. So... I recommend probably trying out possession, seeing what you can do with that. Also, where I mentioned like people have so many people behind the ball, having that possession style, having people come close in their final foot is also quite nice to have because, you know, more options, more like two feet options is a lot better because when you have the ball to feet up and like their, their defender like on your back, you can do a lot more like different like moves. You can obviously do a scoop turn out or a little drag back, whatever it may be. You can obviously bait people in. So that's why I would uh, look into having possession if you're if you're losing i think last 10 minutes try fast build up because obviously you're just trying to get a goal but fast build up is never something i touch personally and same with long ball i don't really touch them but if you're like quite a direct player just try out long ball and fast build up if you're like super super direct that is like you literally take two passes and you're through like if you like or you're like super wing based i think long ball's really good if you can because with long ball i believe everyone just sort of runs forward so your ram and your lamb and your strikers will just be doing direct runs like they've got getting behind on so long ball super effective if you play like that with as i mentioned this team this formation even is very compact when it comes into it into attack because of the ram and lamb starting positioning so i don't think you really need to lower the width uh, if you're more like a tighter narrower player down through the middle i think five is perfect for, Four, four, triple two, but you can easily go to a seven or a six if you want to just be a more wider. You want the Ram and Lamb maybe, you know, controlling the wide spots rather than more into the narrow and letting the CDMs maybe push up into the attack and taking a narrow position, whatever it may be. Player in the box, you can mess around with this depending on your play style. I think if you're like a possession player and you want to take your time and attack, lower the down, play in the box, just take your time, building up. 
Obviously, three players is going to be more than enough. Well, three dots anyway. I I see this right, and I've I've tried it on like two and three, and I'm still getting people run running forwards. So I'm not really too sure what it is. I think if you're if you are super direct though, and you just want maybe more numbers when you get into attack, about a seven or a six is also nice. I, I usually when I play four triple two, I like to have seven players in the box, five width, and then I play one of my CDMs. Uh, on balance so they help in the attack and then I've got just another option so that's quite a nice little player in the box in tactic for you guys but now we're getting to the player you know instructions and what you can have obviously a stay back uh, balance or join the attack we won't show goalkeeper because if you do not touch your keeper because I see so many people use this sweeper keeper option do not touch it it is awful because as soon as somebody like triggers a run like in their in your final third your keeper tries to like intercept that path before it's even played so if you're like if you're aware you can just easily finesse it around him because the keeper's out of position and whatnot so don't touch the keeper going on to the left back and right back attacking runs obviously got join the attack stay back while attacking to be honest I would say stay back while attacking is always a safe option. You're keeping your structure of your team. You're not being too, like, you know, risky, really, with it. I think it's always the best option. She could try balance, but with balance, sometimes they are out of position. So you've got to be very aware. If you're going to use balance or join the attack, you need to be very switched on when it comes to defending and making sure you're covering them lanes effective with the other players in your team, like your CDMs or your Rams and Lambs, depending where your right back and left back is placed. You could easily get caught out of position. Let's say your right back pushes up where uh, close to Messi and they play that ball down the line. You're going to try and probably take Varane over to him and that's going to leave that hole in between Edom Natal and Varane. I believe like... When you're younger, like, I'm not sure if it's actually said by managers or not, but the two centre-backs want to be quite tight together. They want to move as a unit like across that pitch. If a right back, if the right centre-back goes and takes the right-back spot, obviously the Edna Mattel is going to come over and just sort of cover as one centre-back and they're going to have so many options if people play two striker formations, which a lot of people are because of the 4-4-2. So be very aware if you're going to use balance, on the um, balance or join the attack because there's a lot of risk to take. There is interception options, but we do not touch that. Run type, obviously you can have different styles. Personally, if you are going to change this, I personally have it on balance. I, I like to have a bit of like, you know, variety when it comes into it. Because sometimes they can take a more of an inside spot or sometimes take a bit of an outside spot. But I think overlap is really effective, especially in the four triple two, because as I mentioned, the team's quite compact. As soon as you have the overlap option, your team becomes more spread because the right back and left back are taking wide positions rather than they're coming in as well. So you, you're not like stuck with a ram and a lamb and right back and left back are really tight to each other you're just sort of spreading the play and whatnot going on to the cdms now you've got the defensive behavior attacking support interceptions and cover wings and cover center most important tactic is always cover center make sure you have this on because i believe when you have cover wing on you will be exposed through the middle as i mentioned a lot of people like to play through the middle so as long as you have your cdms there in a the middle position it is super effective so Put cover center on. If you don't, it will help you get a couple of wins for sure. Defensive behavior, you can have cut pass and a balance man mark. Personally, I am going with balance at the moment. I tried cut passing, but what I think balance gives you, like as I mentioned, as I mentioned, it's always with a balance tactic. It gives you the best of both options. It gives you, you know, the man mark man mark option and also cut passing lane and if you're good at defending most of the time you cut the passing lane naturally anyway because you're going on to them cdms or whoever it may be and actually just covering the passing lane and whatnot so but if you're not maybe that good at covering the passing lane cut passing might just help you and whatnot going into the ramp uh, oh wait actually that's i've just completely skipped over attacking support stay back as i mentioned is always super super efficient when it comes to four triple twos and four two three ones and four four twos if you don't have that many people in the midfield if you don't have three players in the midfield i always recommend having them both on stay back because you've only got two people there as soon as like one of them goes missing you could be easily counter attacked unless you're like good at defending you know stopping the attack very early but i do meant as i mentioned earlier balance on one of the cdms is also nice because you know having them help you in attack it's super effective as i see some of these players are out of position do not worry this is not a tactic video of me like showing who i use where i don't use the soko right strike and i don't use mbappe obviously right cdm cams usually i keep as basic as possible because there's nothing really here what's too appetizing for me to like look into get into the box is also quite is quite nice though because as i mentioned when you play 4-4-2 in like 4-2-3-1s and whatnot when you play that ball down the line 
you can have a switch over to your your like left mid or your lamb or whatever it may be from the right and you can do like an rbx across goal and it usually can get it from the back post so that's always quite a nice a little option if you want but as we know crossing super bad this year when it comes to headers so if you're gonna do that obviously play the ball down on the floor with the rbx or r1 um square i think it is but that is obviously the different options you can do with cams you can obviously have free roam drift wide and whatnot but i don't really recommend messing around with any of that because you're not going to really see too much success with maybe changing something but maybe maybe free roam might be the one for you but who knows as i mentioned this is more just me sort of talking about the tactics and whatnot what you could do and what i would do personally going on to the strikers now as i mentioned at the start of the year i like to have false nine on one of my strikers this is because a lot of times when i'm going into like building up from the defense a lot of times I'm missing that like player just to come deep and collect the ball and just be able to give me another option when it comes out of like trying to get out of difficult situations. So a lot of times I have played false nine this year on one of my strikers and the other one just on balance. Obviously, I, I, I think a common like attacking run people use is getting behind though on the two strikers. Obviously, then you're very direct and you're having these like runs behind their defense and obviously making them push back. So that's an option you can do obviously on the strikers but i think a lot of people now like a lot of pros are just keeping it on balance balance and just you know sort of going with the flow and because you know, i think a lot of people can you know trigger the runs very like by themselves so you don't really need to put getting behind unless you're bad at like triggering the run personally i'm quite bad at triggering the run so sometimes i do put getting behind on the strikers so they're doing the run naturally but i don't think it's really too you know it's not necessary or not you know uh, i don't know the word you know you know, it's not needed really, let's just be honest, it's just not needed, unless you're just not good at triggering the run. But yeah, I would say that is it, obviously you've got drift wide and stay central on the strikers, but balance, balance, as I mentioned, when it comes to strikers, there's no point changing too much. If comeback on defence is working again with this patch, put it on, you know, make sure your team is super, like, defensive. At the end of the day, that's how you're going to win games, is by having people behind the ball, because that's the way you have to play the game. But that'll be it for the 4 triple 2 formation guide. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And peace.